Well, apparently, apparently, many of us treat our desktop on our computer like a desktop. We leave it cluttered. We don't delete files, folders on the desktop, and eventually we become digital hoarders. Only the gadget guru himself can save us. Mike Yanni joins us. Good morning, Mike. How are you, man? I'm doing well, trying to keep warm. It's, it's a little bit cool here on the West Coast. You t what's, the, what's the temperature in Calgary right now? Uh, with wind chill, m between minus 40 and minus 45. It's a dry cold, though, right? It is, but it's still cold. It's still cold. It's still yeah. cold. It's still cold. <laughs> All right, let's talk desktops. Can yeah. you actually, this can actually have an impact on your computers, can it? It, well, it sure it can. And you know what? The, a new study is actually pretty shocking that shows the stats. Uh, this was mm -hmm. a real eye-opener for me. So this study was done out of the U.S. of 2,000 adults. And it looked at what do we do with our files? Do we delete them? And this is pretty shocking. More than 50% of the Americans that they actually surveyed said that they did ne they've never deleted a file off their personal device. That's a smartphone. Or their laptop. I can't lie. I only like off the phone. I only delete when it tells me my memory is full. <laughs> when you have absolutely no more room to yeah, do anything. Yeah, I can't. Like I take a picture and can't save the picture anymore. Yeah. Right. On top of that, uh, more than 30% haven't deleted a file in more than 10 years. Wow. So this, I, I thought we have some fun. This is my desktop. This is my personal, and I do use it for work as well. Have you been to the Sahara? Maybe I'm a digital hoarder. Maybe. I like to keep things because what if I need them? But I know I should do a better job of maybe organizing them into folders. Well, and how do you know when it's full or what's the, what are some of the efficiencies you can, if you want to keep these things, what are some of the things you can do? Well, I mean, folders, that certainly helps. I just kind of leave them out there because I think, well, what if I need them next week? And then now I know where they are. Maybe I'm a little bit lazy. I don't know. But I'm curious. I want to see your desktop. How does it compare to mine? All right. I see. I live on my phone. So the desktop, watch, there's not much. Oh, that's not bad. There is, and I could probably actually, I could delete about three or four more of those things. <laughs> I use the bottom row, and then that's it. And those aren't wow. my kids, by the way. I don't know who those, are, those uh, kids yeah, are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the number one reason why people don't delete their files is because they're fearful that they might need it in the near future. Well, so that's, what, that's why like we that. end up hoarding at home, right? Oh, I, I, mean, I may need this broken nail. Probably not. Maybe throw it right? out. Put it in a jar somewhere, because you yeah. might need that. Yeah, I know. I got to work on that. So that's my New Year's resolution to not become, not be a digital hoarder, to, to become better at that. Right. I know we have one more story we want to talk about yeah, quickly. Yeah, let's get to this. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, you know, it used to be a status symbol in the early 2000s. Remember the mm -hmm. Hummer? Oh, yeah. A buddy of mine yeah. had one. Obnoxious. Yeah. Making a comeback, believe it or not. But with that little high-tech twist, get this, all electric. I, I, all I'm, trying electric. To, I'm trying to balance this out. This giant vehicle... That's mm -hmm. all electric. Right? It's kind of hard to actually wrap your head around that. It's one thing to have an electric vehicle, maybe electric truck, but these things had a lot of power. I mean, yeah. they were used by the military, right? So to imagine that they're actually going to be, you know, you can actually drive this thing for more than 30 minutes without draining that, that battery. But apparently GM says they want, to, they want to revive the brand. They're saying 2023 is when it's going to come out, and they're going to do the big unveil, Super Bowl with a big ad. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. and, and it'll be all electric. There won't be a backup motor in it, nothing. They're saying 100% electric. I'm curious if this could actually revive the brand. It'll be interesting to see because people who buy Hummers, I imagine, are a little different than people who buy electric motor vehicles. Yeah, I think so. It's hard to believe this is actually it was discontinued 11 years ago. Wow. It's been that long. Actually, I think my buddy has the last year for them, and he said they're collector's items. People will pay anything for them. Does he still drive it? Oh, yeah. Wow. He barely, like, barely drives, like he drives like a kilometer to work and that's it. <laughs> well, that's all you can afford, right? I mean, gas is not cheap. No, no, not for those. All right, Mike, have a great day. Stay warm, sir. I'm trying. And clean up Thanks. your desktop. I'm working on it. I'm working right. on it. More on BT coming up after the break.